Yo, what it do? You're watching Three Wands, a series where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. It's Lord Shu. I'm back. Welcome back. For all the returning subscribers, if you're new, please like this video, comment, tell me how much you like the channel, how much you think I can change in the videos, or if you even like me. Share this video with somebody if you think it'll help them, and subscribe, because why wouldn't you? I'm Lord Shu. We were recently talking about the seven universal laws. These are the core universal laws. On the last episode, we talked about the law of mentalism, which the all is mind, everything is mental. So this, this next law that I'm gonna follow up with today, it just, they flow into each other perfect. So the law that we're gonna talk about today is the law of correspondence. Let's talk about correspondence. The way that your inner self communicates with your outer self. The way that your lower self communicates with your higher self. The way that the version that you wanna be communicates with who you are now and vice versa. So I'll just read what it says here in Hybrid Manual. So Hybrid Manual is the magazine that houses the keys to the island, which is the lifestyle that I teach on this channel SLR channel that you're watching. So you can get a copy of Hybrid Manual. Um, you can download it for free on my website, shoeloveswebels.com, or you can get a hard copy at hbsxpopup.com. So let's go to the seven universal laws that come from the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. Thoth was a very wise human who transcended all space and time and became a person who could uh, pass their thoughts and memories and uh, every part of themselves to any physical vessel that they came into. Once they died, they lived on forever through many different uh, bodies that they've transferred themselves through or through the, the actual bloodline of themselves. The law of correspondence. As above, so below. As below, so above. So what does this mean? If you are inside of yourself, sad, lonely, distraught, not content, jealous, eventually those feelings manifest in the physical and then you will begin to act them out. Let's say, uh, let's, let's go even deeper on a genetic level. Your DNA houses slavery, uh, rape in the family, rape through history, poverty, I mean, the list goes on. These things eventually will manifest if uh, if you continue to keep your thoughts in those places, which is why in the last video, we talked about the law of mentalism, which is all about the mind and how to have full grasp on self, but surrendering to the self and not chasing or trying to control, but surrendering to self and also in knowing that everything around you starts in the mental. So if you have a control on your mental state now through the law of mentalism, how you interact with yourself mentally, emotionally begins to manifest through the law of correspondence. If you are constantly in a good mood, affirming to yourself the things that you want to experience in life, being grateful for everything around you and truly just genuinely feeling this way one thing that you can focus on is up to you it's not it's not about being a part of the world or being in the world you are the world you're experiencing yourself in so many different ways through the different forms of matter that exist around you so how you correspond with these things tend to manifest in self and outside of self and like i said let's go even deeper uh your cells, they they make they make up you, and if your cells are sick, eventually that will manifest as cancer. And you're the you're the matter, but in the reality of things, the cell is like you, your ego. Each cell is one little ego. If that ego is messed up, all the cells eventually will become messed up and create a cancer. It's like a virus; it just spreads. One bad apple will spoil the bunch. So just always be wary of what you consume, 
in all levels, not just as food, but in all levels, what you watch, what you see, what you hear. Because once you begin to internalize these things from the outside, then that becomes your reality. And remember, if you are all mine, that means someone else's thoughts are your thoughts. But then that means you're letting your own thoughts control you. And remember, you are, you are the thing that experiences everything. You are putting yourself at an advantage through creating boundaries using the law of correspondence because that's you're, you're realizing things. You're going to keep going through the same thing over and over and over again because your energy isn't changing. That's When it comes down to it, you are energy. That's literally what you are, is walking energy in a body. So changing how you feel on the inside will soon begin to manifest how you feel on the outside, the things around you, because everything around you is you, everything within you is you. So that is the law of correspondence. Now, ways that you can truly work with this uh, now that you have this information is to simply be grateful every single day, affirm things to yourself every single day, and also surrender, let go, let go of control. Like I said in Keys to the Island, the number one problem in the world is distraction. Don't get lost in the sauce, man. You, you transcended the sauce. You, you the best steak in the world. You ain't even gotta have no sauce. Tran transcend the sauce. Become the best steak you can be. The law of correspondence. That's it for today's episode. If you like this video and think it can help someone, please like and share. Leave a comment how I can make these videos better. And also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's Lord Shu. Holla!